Hi guys, I'm Ollie from Level Rugby and these are the brand new Nike Tiempo Legend 10. Let's take a look. The Tiempo Legend is legendary, dating back to 1984. Since then, there have been nine generations with this being the 10th and over the course of that time, they've begun to specialize in comfort and a cushion strike on the ball. That's what makes these boots so unique. This is the Ready Pack colorway. As you can see, it's a white out with some red and black accents. I love white boots, I like bright boots, and these tick that box, definitely. All the detail of the performance enhancing features are highlighted in those black and red accents you can see here all over the boot. Underneath the boot is the classic anti-clog sole plate in that translucent blue color with the vault yellow highlighting the Nike branding and that anti-clog branding. So overall, if you like white bright boots, you can't go too far wrong with these. The first thing you're gonna notice about the Tiempo with it in hand is how light it is. Now, traditional leather boots are very heavy, especially when they're wet, but that's the modernization of the Tiempo from the first generation back in 1984 to the 10th generation today, is that they've made the boot a whole lot lighter. What's not been lost though, is the comfort of the boot. Now that's been improved drastically over the course of the Tiempo's life, predominantly through the use of this fly knit tongue through the middle of the boot which wraps your foot and keeps you locked down but in a comfortable manner. Alongside the Flyknit in the tongue however the new addition to the Tiempo Legend 10 is Flyknit in the heel area. Now essentially that just reduces the break-in period so I'm excited to see how that actually influences my first experience with the boot. And already they're feeling like they're feeling comfortable a bit vaporesque in terms of the weight but let's see how that translates on pitch. So the first major and significant change which has caused a lot of controversy with the new legend is that it shifted from the traditional leather to a new synthetic alternative called Fly Touch Plus. Now Fly Touch Plus supposedly has all the benefits of leather just without all the drawbacks. The first major benefit of leather is the unique cushion strike it gives you when kicking the ball. Now in the labs, Nike have tested softness and measured it to find that the new Legend 10 is softer than the previous generation Legend 9. So supposedly that's how they've uniquely designed this to have that cushion strike of leather just a little bit better. So personally what I've found whilst kicking a few of these balls is that the Legend 10 is slightly thinner. So it still has a padded sensation but just a little bit more connection with the ball rather than having a big layer in between your foot and the ball when kicking the ball. Alongside that, on the surface of this new synthetic, they have these little pimples, which essentially give you a bit more grip in all conditions. There is also the ACC on the back here, which essentially means that when the boot gets wet, it's still gonna perform and give you that unique strike and the control you want. So yeah, the major change for me is the thickness of that leather. It still gives you the padded sensation that you uniquely find with a Tiempo, just a little bit more connected with the ball when you're striking it. Bang on.
in true Tiempo fashion, these are so comfortable. The move away from classic leather doesn't have an effect for me, whether that's a positive or a negative, it's the same as the previous generation and that's comfortable, straight out of the box. Part of the reason for that is the fly knit in the heel area just allows you to fully flex your heel without those pressure points. And on the theme of pressure points, in the firm ground variation of the boots, they have cutouts under the sole plate to just relieve that pressure, especially when you're playing on artificial grass pitches. Just so, so comfortable, I love it. So it's no secret that I adore the Tiempa. I've been wearing it now for the past five years. I used to love the leather, so I was worried when they changed this synthetic alternative. But Fly Touch Plus not only does the positives well, a cushioned, comfortable ride, but also overcomes the previous negatives of leather too, such as water retention, making the boots heavier, but also overstretching. That leather just starts to wear and tear a little bit too. Those negatives, so far as I know, don't exist with the Tiempo. So it's ideal in that sense and has overcome my fears about the shift to synthetic. So this is the Ready Pack colorway with the Soft Ground Pro sole plate. You can pick these up also in firm ground variations and also in takedown models if you want some of the features just at a lower price or on the Lovell Rugby website. I want to know from you guys whether you really care about the shift away from the traditional leather. Of course, not only does this perform better, in my opinion, but it's also more sustainable for the planet. Let me know what you guys think about that change in the comments down below. Please like the video, subscribe to the Love of Rugby YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next time.